Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, Simon Ekwa, a prominent figure within the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP movement, has made a shocking claim about Ifa Nyuba, a well known Nigerian politician and businessman. In a recent statement on social media, Ekba accused Uba of orchestrating attacks against him in Finland. He alleged that Uba was behind the IPO protest in Finland that targeted him, further intensifying the conflict between the two parties. Ekba's accusation did not stop there. He made a sensational and unverified claim about Senator Uba's recent death, alleging that Uba passed away in a London hotel under scandalous circumstances. According to Ekpa's statement, he received intelligence suggesting that Uba died while being involved with a woman. Although the exact nature of his claim, this claim remains unclear and unconfirmed. The allegation by Simon Ekpa was uh, have sparked a wave of controversy and discussions on social media. This assumption has been met with skepticism and criticism, as the credibility of the source and the veracity of the claims are still unverified. Critics argue that such dramatic and personal allegations could further as it bait tensions between the rival groups and individuals. The dispute between Ekpa and Oba highlights the ongoing conflict between the IPOP movement and its interactions with Nigerian political figures. It also underscores the border tensions between various factions within the Biafran separatist movement and the Nigerian government. As the situation develops, it is crucial to approach such claims with caution and seek verified information from reliable sources. The impact of these allegations on both the IPOP movement and the bar's reputation remains still to be seen. The unfolding drama continues to draw attention from both supporters and critics reflecting to the high stake nature of political and social conflicts in Nigeria and diaspora. Nigerians, make we hear this one from Simon Ekbar's mouth in his post in the ex formerly Twitter handle. Simon Ekbar said, The criminal Ifani Uba, who sent people to attack me in Finland, he also masterminded the IPOB Nigerian protest against me in Finland. I have received intel that he died on top of a woman in London Hotel. I hope it is not on top. Okay, I beg. Make I not talk that one because that one, it gets us to be. Well, Nigerians, on to you. This claim by Simon Ekba is uh, unverified. Okay. If I knew Ba, uh, the senator representing Anambra South in Nigerian National Assembly has tragically passed away. The prominent politician and businessman died in a hotel in the United Kingdom where he had traveled just two days period for a medical operation. Reports indicate that Senator Oba succumbed uh, Succumbed during the uh, during the surgical uh, procedure, a close associate confirmed the news, stating, "Yes, he is dead. We are waiting for the family to issue a statement. We spoke to him three times yesterday before he went into the theater for the operation. The sudden loss has sent uh, shock waves through his community." and the political landscape. Senator Oba, who was the chief executive officer of Capital Oye and a notable political career last year, 
he made headlines by defecting from the Young Progressive Party, YPP, to the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. This move was significant as it reflected a shift in the political dynamics within Anambra State and Nigeria at large. His tenor was not without challenges. In September 2022, Huba survived a harrowing assassination attempt in which three police escorts from his convoy lost their lives. The incident occurred in Enuku, okay, Okwa, located in the Injaku local government area of Anambra State. This attack underscored the risk faced by politicians in Nigeria and highlighted Uba's resilience in the face of adversity. Senator Obara's death marks a profound loss for his constituents uh, and the broader political community known for its entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to public service. He was a figure who sought to make a difference in the lives of his uh, constituents, his journey from a businessman to a prominent political figure inspired many and his attributions to the development of Anambra uh, South will be remembered. Okay, guys, may he so rest in peace. So I will now see within Simon Ekbatok concerning the death of Simon um, Ifanuba. I beg, make we hear from you. Share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.